Hey, what's going on guys? It's Bungovai here for MMOBomb.com and today we're going to do a first impression gameplay video for War Thunder, a new 3D aviation style MMO published by Gaijin Entertainment. And I'll spend about 15-20 minutes or so checking the game out, making my usual style of commentary if you guys want to learn more about the game. I highly suggest you check down below at MMOBomb.com for the full game profile. So like I said before, it's like an aviation, World War II aviation style MMO. Uh, it's somewhat similar to World of Warplanes, but there are a fair amount of differences between the two, so I'm not going to make too many comparisons other than the interface uh, looks similar. Just because another game is an aviation MMO doesn't mean it's going to be the same style of game. Now to begin with, one of the main differences, one of the things that make this unique is the fact that you're not limited to one plane per battle. You're limited to a nation of planes per battle. So what I mean by that is, if I choose the USA Air Force, uh, I have access currently to four different planes to use in one concurrent battle. That means after one plane shot down, I can then jump into these three other planes in quick succession to pilot those. Now the more uh, crewmen I recruit, uh, the more plane reserves I can have. So you can have a bunch of them as you can see, but each one costs more and more. You start off with three of each nation, and which is nice because you don't, you're don't you not restricted to just three planes in general. You're restricted to three planes per nation, and there's a total of five nations right now. So it does give you a lot of options to try out different aircraft and always have something available to actually pilot. Now, in this case with the Russian aircraft here, I have already an open slot. Well, if I choose aircraft here, I can actually choose to uh, slot an aircraft I've already purchased, or I can research a new aircraft and uh, slot that one in there instead. Now, when it turns in terms of research, it's just the typical you have to have a rank, um, and once you have that rank, you just need to have also the amount of currency necessary. It's not so much as World of Tanks where you upgrade a certain uh, plane and then move on. You just are required to have the appropriate rank uh, in that in that like uh, section. So in this case, I have to have the rank two of this vehicle, and then I keep moving up and up and up. Uh, but as far as researching goes, the upgrades come in the form of crew skill upgrades. And crew skill upgrades, if you go view crew, these upgrades come in the form of uh, increased uh, gunners, a number of gunners increased, their accuracy, uh, your ability to repair your uh, your aircraft, your G tolerance, because there is uh, G forces applied to you, your vision, your vitality, your stamina. There's a lot of different really in-depth crew skills that, that make your plane better. It's not so much of uh, changing your weaponry or changing your engines on the plane. It's much more heavily focused on the crew itself. So let's go ahead and jump into a battle here. I'll just go to battle. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and queue up, but there are three different modes available right now. Arcade battles, historical battles, and full real battles. Now, arcade battles are just arcade battles. They, they pit a variety of aircraft from different nations against each other. There's no historical accuracy, and the controls are really simplified, meaning that you don't get a lot of the G-forces applied. Uh, there's less of those. It's more forgiving, I guess you could say. Historical battles, um, these are actual battles that took place, and it does pit certain nations against each other so you have to use aircraft from those particular nations and then full real battles are completely realistic battles with realistic g-forces realistic physics etc like that arcade battles does implement a lot of that but is much more forgiving and it really comes into play with the control aspect of the game you aren't just limited to you know keyboard and mouse you of course also have joystick but there's a variety of controls for each type so for a keyboard and mouse you can have much more realistic control over your pitch, your rudder, etc. But also, for me, for beginners, you can just control your, your plane with just your mouse and a little bit of your keyboard, making it much easier for beginners to get into. And if you want more control later on, then you can upgrade to more realistic controls. And the joystick support is phenomenal, I've seen. They've, there's a lot of in-depth options for that. So as you can see, here is the typical mission. Destroy enemy ground targets in the airfield. Each side has an airfield at its disposal to repair aircraft at. If you land on there, you can actually repair. Now what's really cool about this uh, game is the fact that every mode, as you can see, every match isn't just, hey, kill the enemy players, the last one to kill them wins. In this case, you also can kill the airfield, but I've also seen uh, additionally uh, objective modes where you can kill the ground units. Um, there are like anti-aircraft and tanks on the ground and if you shoot those down and get down to zero you've essentially wiped out the enemy force without having to kill all the enemy players. So I think that's really cool. As you can see in the bottom left you'll see those amounts. There's 69 versus 69 and those change depending on which uh, server you're on. 
or which or sorry map type rather so those change per map each map has like a different mode and you can kind of see them off in the distance those little red dots there uh, those are the stationary NPC targets. Now, the game does have a future roadmap. It's currently just in beta, in the, what's called an open global beta. And eventually they want players to be able to control, additional players to control those ground NPC vehicles so that players can actually shoot at aircraft themselves. And it's much more of a open, co 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 coherent, there we go, battle, rather than just simply, I mean, as you can see, the, the anti-aircraft right there shot shot down a player just simply by uh, targeting him so it's certainly not just like field dressing window dressing there's there's a lot of uh, tacticalness to it you can't just fly right into it, the anti-air you're gonna get into shot down quite easily but that's where uh, bombers come into play there are certain aircraft called bombers which allow you to bomb the the enemy installations from really high up and uh, evade that damage much easier let's go ahead and fly away from that I'm just in this small little one engine plane can't really take that on so once once those get uh, taken out a little bit more it'll be much easier for me to swoop in and take one out right now though not really in a good spot as you can see they're, they're, they're shooting at me pretty good now I can hit my middle mouse button in order to uh, kind of lock onto a target and this allows me to see what range he is as well as to kind of like immediately have my my uh, camera pan to him it also tells me where I have to shoot so you can notice that small little small small little reticule right there that allows me to like judge where I have to shoot him at and I'm, I'm getting this guy good oh come on am I gonna get him down he suffers damage to his oil tank so his oil tank is gonna go down I'm gonna slow down just a bit here what are you gonna do buddy I can't even see the back of his thing oh no I'm gonna stall so you do actually stall in fact if I came down to the ground fast enough come on let's come around here uh, I would end up blacking out which is pretty cool all right so we're gonna come around here come on a little bit more little more and I have to watch out not to overheat my guns because then they have to reload oh he's so hurt come on so if I bring myself around back here so yeah, it's pretty cool you know you have these like really intense aircraft fights where oh I got him there we go critical hit and a left wing was taken out I don't know if you guys know this but I broke his left wing off so he's gonna spiral into the ground until he dies but then you know if you do get taken out early you don't have to worry about that so much simply for the fact that uh, you have extra aircraft to work with. So here comes another guy here. I'm gonna shoot at him as well. Now he's a more of a bomber. He's a much bigger plane, so he can take those hits a lot easier than I can, and he can actually shoot me from a, from uh, behind as well. Uh, that's one of the uh, uh, nice little features of uh, bomber aircraft is they have more directional guns to actually shoot with. All right, so I'm coming up on Marlboro here, which is on a P-26A. I'm gonna come up from behind him a little bit here. Got some anti-aircraft shooting, but it's mostly shooting at him. This is our anti-aircraft and let's see if I can get a little bit come on a little bit more there we go got a little bit of damage on him not too much though I think I got a little bit more on him yep he's taking some damage whoa gotta watch out for that come around here someone's calling a hacker I don't even know how you hack in a game like this but he noticed I actually overheated my MG so now it's gone to six seconds before I can use it again see if I can come and assist my my ally here now if you notice there's an enemy emplacement right here so I can actually zoom in and come down here to strafe it in order to take out the target come on a little bit more I think I took it out there we go surface unit destroyed so you get points for that you know it does contribute towards winning as well I think somebody's actually shooting at me oh don't I'm gonna come over this hill here to try to dodge and then see if I can do a dive bomb here and you can actually see my speed will, uh, will increase and I'll start to black out after a while that's all right. I'm just trying to do some evasive maneuvers. I'll come back over to my anti-air stuff to try to deter him. And I forget how to actually look from uh, behind, which would be quite useful, I'd have to say. All right. So what's cool about the game is you can also land it to repair, like I said before, in the airfield. And you have to actually deploy. If you, if you have a vehicle or if you have an aircraft that requires you to deploy your landing gear, you actually have to do that in order to make sure... Uh, you can land properly and I'm a pretty terrible lander so I'm not gonna try right now but I can use V I can actually hit V here to change my uh, view so I can see you know from a first perspective or a cockpit view so it's more than just third person which is actually quite nice some anti-aircraft gun is shooting at me I think it's here on the ground can I get to it I'm gonna come around for you there it is all right so let's see if we can just evade those shots here and then do some strafing we'll do some strafing 
Come on. I feel like a real pilot. There we go. Let's pull up, pull up. All right, so we pull up there, and I took out another gun. So we only have four guns left now, so we can actually win pretty soon if we take out those additional four guns. A lot of red over there, so let's go ahead and, and take those out. Oh, God! Whoa! Randomly, he took out my right wing, and I go spiraling out of control. Was not expecting that at all. So yeah, there are those moments where, like, you're not expecting someone. Someone gets a really good hit on you, and uh, you end up getting taken out quite fast. So it's always about, you know, ducking and weaving, etc. Making sure to know where, where the enemies are. And gunners, bombers can get really high up in the air and bomb from a far distance away. And it actually gets, uh, it looks like we got victory. Yes! We did, we did in fact win the game. Some of these matches can last quite a while, especially when there's only a couple aircraft left. And they're pretty good at dodging. Uh, so as you can see there, I had one death. I killed two of those and just one. Whereas this guy over here, look at him. He killed... 32 oh my gosh how in the world did he kill 32 of those by himself that is quite impressive all right so you notice here my usa air force rank has gone up well and then my individual rank which is my in general rank um and then i get some experience for different aircraft that i use and that air that then uh contributes towards my overall credits all right so let's go ahead and jump into another match here I'm going to jump into my Russian aircraft, which already has another four. I'm going to go to battle again. All right, so let's hit battle here once more. Um, I should go ahead and show you the crew management skills really quickly. Now, as you can see here, the crew level. I already spent my crew points, and I spent those on my gunners. So you, number, you notice I have the total number of experienced gunners in the crew. If the aircraft has more gunners than experienced gunners, the crew does not run at maximum performance. Uh, and this one increases my... Uh, or it reduces the scatter of my gun's fire. So that really allows me to uh, shoot guys down a lot more effectively. My bullets have less spread, essentially. So let's go ahead and jump in one more match. Um, server's currently available, Russian and EU. I'm playing from California right now, and on an EU server, I get about 180 ping or so. It's not that bad. Uh, I don't really notice any kind of lag or anything like that. The only time I notice something is if someone has a higher ping from over there. Um, they'll kind of be a little bit jittery on my screen. Overall, though, I do view this as a, a pretty fun game. It's got a lot of atmosphere to it. There's a lot of fun elements to it, you know, piling different types of aircraft with explosions going around. you. It, it feels much more um, intuitive and engrossing than I have to say currently than uh, World, of Ta World of Warplanes, rather. I really feel like um, World of Warplanes, don't get me wrong, it's a decent game, but... I feel like they just took World of Tanks and tried to apply a World of Warplanes mentality to it, whereas War Thunder was kind of built from the ground up to have a more uh, engrossing experience currently in its current state. You know, both games are still in a sort of beta state. So right now, some of the upcoming features, like I said, uh, for War Thunder, they're going to have global chat, friends list. Those things aren't available right now. It's still in beta. They're going to have uh, an update of in-game menu and interface, so everything you see here can actually change. There's going to be additional aircraft, uh, gathering into squadrons, which are, I, I would assume to be like a clan system. Player-controlled vehicles, tournament modes, a full mission editors. So you can actually create custom player missions, as well as bomber cockpit, cockpits as well. So there's a lot of more ambient and atmospheric things to be added, as well as the ability for players to actually create their own custom missions to play, which I feel is a, a pretty cool feature. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into this match here and uh, see how well I do. I, I did okay last match, but I feel like, you know, if you're a really good pilot, you really contribute a lot. And if you're a so-so pilot, you can you can make little, you know, achievements and advancements, but uh, not too much to begin with. All right, you can try dynamic campaigns, which are, oh, one of the modes I, I forgot to mention is that there is sort of like a PvE mode where up to four players can cooperatively take on some uh AI and some ground targets, etc. I haven't actually been able to try them myself simply because they require a certain rank of aircraft because they're the aircraft that are used are historically accurate. They're kind of like missions or campaigns uh, that you would have expected to see in World War II. So they really want to make sure, the developers really want to make sure everything is historically accurate in that, in that respect. So you do have to use certain types of aircraft. But it's cool that they're, you know, in games like this, you would always expect it to be mainly PvP. And it's cool that they have actual PvE modes available as well. Alright, so it's very easy. Destroy enemy aircraft and ground targets. That is the 
objective, I guess you could say. And this one is much more uh, closer to the sea. So I like the fact that these they really have a, a variety of different areas to choose from, different modes, or di not different modes, but different objectives, and uh, different areas for you to fly through. You're not, you're not just limited to just flying over a landscape. I feel a lot of times the landscape plays a, a fairly big part in it. And this landscape is much more flat, uh, which kind of encourages more uh, air fighting, I guess you could say, you know, less dog fighting through canyons. Uh, but I like that, you know, it's just variety. A, a lot of various types of... Uh, someone shooting rockets? Oh, no, there's our naval vehicles. Awesome! So as you can see, the naval... I mean, the NPCs actually fight each other. You can kind of see all the different uh, artillery shells going off and all like they, that. So it becomes much more of a, a world war battle and not just a, an aircraft battle. Which I, I think something sometimes uh, certain games miss. They just make it about one aspect when in fact if, if you want to be truly accurate it is, a, it is a, a variety of things at the same time not just one. Alright so let's see if we can get close enough to this guy. Oh man I like those guns. I, this is the first time I tried out this aircraft. I already got some good hits on him a little bit. Let's go ahead and pull over. And I mean, with the mouse controls, this is one thing I had an issue with with uh, World of Warplanes. The mouse controls were very floaty, and I have a lot better. Uh, I think I have a lot better control over these particular ones, these particular aircraft. Oh god! Oh no no no! no. Let's come up here. None of this trying to come up behind me. All right, let's see if I can do a barrel roll real quickly. All right, did a barrel roll there. Jets again. So I think the matchmaking is something that they need to, to fix a little bit. Currently, uh, planes that are, have obvious bonuses against other planes are fighting each other. And I think that's one thing that, like, I just, like, totally crashed on the ground. I think that's one thing that they, they mentioned that they were fixing in the update. I don't know what that was. All right, let's come over here. There's somebody shooting at our navels. Oh, no, it looks like they're going to get taken down. I'm going ahead and pitch myself. Up here, I think someone was behind me, but it's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and do a turn around, try to find some more guys. And as you can see there, if you notice the when the they kind of dimmed a little bit, you couldn't see as well. That was because of the G-forces that I was using. Oh God, did I get shot down? What happened? Who shot me? I was shot down just randomly by him. So I don't know if that was somewhat because of the fact that I. Uh, am on a EU ping and I couldn't see the damage getting hit until it was too late or the fact that he just killed my pilot out route out outright but uh, he did take me out quite effectively very quickly which is unfortunate but man doesn't that look so awesome look they're just like firing on here they're like shooting rockets and everything all right so how are we doing they're slightly in the lead not too much though let's go ahead and zoom in here to see if I can get closer to this target I'm down to just four machine guns again, unfortunately. Man, look at all that fire coming in. That's so crazy. There's so much of it. All right, so getting a little closer here. I can start leading my target just a little bit. All right, so I got to hit him again, hit him again. Bring out a zoom here. Ah, I got him. Critical hit. So I did actually destroy him, which is nice. But I have, uh, I've taken some damage in my main cockpit area. You can see that on the left-hand side. It's a little small. It could be a little bit bigger, but it works, I guess, for all intents and purposes right now. But we got to take out their enemy vehicles. All right, so I was going to come in here for a strafe run. I'm going to boost up a little bit. I can't boost too much or else I'll end up taking out my... Uh, my engines will end up getting taken out, unfortunately. Oh, they just bombed it, it looked like. That was so awesome. I mean, you can see all these explosions. There's one in this. Come on, take it out, take it out. Ah, uh, let's bring up. I crashed into it. <laughs> I think that's because uh, I was damaged. I couldn't pull up fast enough. We're ahead of the enemy. But I mean, this is what I'm saying. You know, you know how when you, you you play other games where it's like last man standing. Once you're out, if you make an early mistake, you're out. Like that, you're just out of the game. But I like the fact that in this game, you do have multiple cho chances to get back in it with different aircraft. And different aircraft can serve different purposes. So you're not always just relegated to using... I mean, look how many fighters are actually fighting, shooting at him. Let's see if I can come up from this guy from behind. I'm coming, buddy. I'm coming. Duck and weave, man. Duck and weave. I'm coming. We're going to get him. All right. So I'm coming in from behind here. Closing the distance. You have to be within, like, 0.3. Yeah, there we go. I'm coming. 
can't really see my reticle too much. Got him a couple more times. Coming up back around here. Yeah, there we go. Aircraft destroyed. And look at him. Look at him go. He's going down. I like the fact that he just like is on fire right now. That's pretty awesome. And there he goes. Awesome. All right. So, I mean, you can be a fairly good shot. You just have to make sure to lead your targets. That's the, that's the main thing. Yes, we know. We're here. We're protecting. All right. Here. So, we got a guy coming in fairly low. Another one, too. I'm going to come and get this guy hopefully soon. Where are you going, man? Where are you going? Oh, no. We hit each other. <laughs> No, my right wing is going down. All right, but I think I shot him down too. We hit each other. We shot each other down. All right, so I'm down to one last aircraft here. I like the fact that we like clipped each other. That was pretty awesome. All right, here. So I can do barrel rolls if I wanted to just by hitting uh, A and D. So you do have control over those systems, and then you can use Q and E to adjust your rudders. Um, using shift and control allow you to pitch up and pitch down. So if you need to go up in the air really fast. But uh, with mouse controls, you don't have to worry, worry about that too much. It kind of automatically does that for you. But you can add additional control to that just by uh, hitting those respective buttons. Let's go ahead and go to V. It, it can be pretty difficult to like aim with that because there's the, uh, the things in the way. But let's see if we can come around here and get a, a kill like this. I mean, this is like pretty intense. Come on. Use my... Slow down my speed just a little bit to get behind. I got a couple hits. He's starting. He's breaking off. Maybe. Nope. It's pretty hard to do it from that that perspective for too long. You get kind of like seasick, nausea. Not seasick, but nauseous rather. All right. So wait for my gun to cool down just a bit. Come on, a little more. He's got to be hurt. Come on. He's so low. I'm coming, buddy. I'm I'm helping you out. Come on, a little bit more. A little bit more hits. No, we got him! How did you live so long? I keep hitting you so many times. So some of these vehicles... Ah, oh, there we go. Finally got him. No, he's just hurt. He's not... Okay, now he's down. There we go. So I did take him out, but he took out my friend, the guy, unfortunately, at the same time. Alright. Let's see if we can get this guy, too. Oh, yeah! Look at me. Fighter rescue. Oh, man, we clipped each other! <laughs> Oh, man. That was hilarious. Did he live? I think he lives. No, he died. We, like, slammed right into each other. But alrighty, guys. That's it. I have no more aircraft. At this point, I can just simply look at other ones. There's one of the bombers I was talking about. It's quite large. And uh, those are really effective, as you can see. They're really high up. They're effective at bombing large installations at the same time. You can see him. He's dropping, like, three or four bombs at a time. But we're still winning just slightly. But we'll go ahead and conclude the, the game here for now. If you guys want to learn more about War Thunder, I highly suggest you check down below Panther. Look at that. Crazy looking. Uh, I highly suggest you check down below at MMOBomb.com for the full game profile. This has been Spunkify. And I'll see you guys in the next first look here on MMOBomb. Spunkify, out. Later, guys.